So on the build down valve side, gotcha. we're going to be like a double solving. Oh. From the side, what does it look like? I mean, I can power on the servo if you want. Okay, so if you have like five minutes, I can power yeah, on the servo. Yeah, let's go. Nah, don't don't film this. This is extremely sketchy. I don't want people seeing me doing like random sketchy things. You know? <laughs> Where did all my cables go? Is my question. All right, we all have two same color cables. Great. To the and one is ground. Hey, I'm uh, currently working on simulations and the mechanical side on the Abrix system, which is going onto our 2024 rocket. I swear, I swear if you show this anywhere, Joe will kill me for ruining Control's reputation. And can you tell me what are the airbrakes being used for on the rocket itself? Oh, yeah, for sure. So basically, for each of our competition, like every single year, one of the biggest objective and the one that scores the most point is to have our rocket land to the target apogee as close as possible. So before the competition, we to report what we think the rocket will fly to to the competition. For example, 20,000 feet or 30,000 feet, and uh, we will try to design the rocket, including using simulations and the different like designs to make the rocket hit this target as close as possible. However, whatever we do before is always like passive. So once the flight starts, there's no way to control it during the flight. However, the Abrix changed that because this is an active system that goes onto the rocket, which will actively adjust apogee throughout the flight. <laughs> this is very starts, okay? Oh, this that's, the more, that's more the reason to film it. Oh, okay. Sure. No, 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 don't give me 12 volts. That will burst through the... <laughs> don't give me 12 volts. That's why you check the power output, like, before you, like, do anything, okay? Okay, this is one-time testing. This this setup shall not be reused under any, like, condition. It should only be, like, for media, you know? Special made, oh, just for media. I hope the black on this end means it's also black on the other end. I don't suppose they change color in between. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine that. I have my. Wait, have you not programmed this up yet? No. <laughs> I thought you had already done it. <laughs> <laughs> Programming with Richard. <laughs> yeah, program with Richard. So basically the goal is uh, to reach a target apogee that is uh, as close to the one we reported to the competition as close as possible. And how we do this is basically we have this set of air bricks which have three fins. Uh, those white part of the fins will stick out to the outside of the rocket throughout flight and they will change in, uh, in dimensions. So if the uh, air brick rotates, it will retract all the fins and uh, if it rotates the other way, it will expand all the fins. Uh, with this, we will have airflow that's directly uh, hitting the top of the air bricks, which creates additional drag onto the body of the rocket and this will effectively slow down the entire rocket. So with this, we can like always like constantly calculate during the flight uh, how high the rocket will fly to and if it's well, we are predicting that will like overshoot our target apogee, we can extend the airbrakes by a certain amount dynamically throughout the flight in order to bring the uh, rocket to the top. Ah, the code is coming. <laughs> <laughs> the code is coming. Copy code. Copy code. Arduino. Arduino. There we go. It does not want to detect my Arduino. This is very strange. Was it working before? I never tested it before. <laughs> you know what, guys? I have a bunch of those. I'll just swap one out if anything. Yeah, let's swap one out. Oh too. my gosh. Oh. It's okay, guys. You have infinite time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you have like five minutes. This is a real Arduino? Yeah, I suppose. Does it look fake to you, does it? Mm, it's blue. Good enough. <laughs> Ah, lights. I like lights. Yo, it's there. Nano. It's a nano. I'm telling you. Upload the code.
that. Yeah, but basically we have uh, three sets of system, which is logging, control, and the state estimation. Like we have the state estimation, which basically takes three like different system: a terminal, the IMU, which is like the magnetometer as the rometer, and of those, and it basically passes through a filter to determine the exact like pitch, roll, yaw, and uh, like heading of the rocket and with that like the control will do some uh, calculations using rp4 to predict like how high the rocket will actually be like heading to if it cr continues like the current trend continues the current speed and the heading etc and with that it will pass through a pid controller which will uh, send a signal to the motor and this motor will as an extent or contract the air brakes to a certain like length which will like correlates to a certain drag that will bring the rocket to the target at, uh, Interesting. Are you sure you're on A0? Yeah, I'm on A0. I mean, nope, you're not. No, that's not A0. My bad, that's AC. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's do that again, okay? Put on A1. Let's put it on A2. Do you need ChatGPT for this one? No, 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 no. I, 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 I'm not good at coding, I'm good at reading, okay? Are you sure it's the right ones connected? I mean, yeah. No, it's not. I put a ground on single nothing. <laughs> it's not like using the same color twice is a bad hey, idea, hey? Hey, 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 we are low on research funding, okay? We only have like selected jumper wires. <laughs> we don't have a lot of jumper wires uh, over here, like. Yo, 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 yo. It's been 15 minutes. <laughs> Electrical engineering of Richard. Okay, okay hear me out. Okay. I wonder where the... I wonder where the... I heard Sounds something. Like working. Sounds like it's working, but it's not powering it. and the rest of the controls team um, actually designed this version itself? Is it a completely original design? Did you use past research done by other teams? Oh yeah, so yeah, like any design basically starts with like research, right? So yeah, we looked at like a lot of different teams' uh, Abrix design. Wow, those are really great Abrix designs. We found it's actually like WPI. They have a I won't say similar system to us, but like same activation like mechanism and uh, we found it to be a really like nice design, a really robust design. So like with, uh, from like taking that and we like improved upon it and uh, did some uh, quite a bit of uh, refinements to make it into like the system we have today. And this is actually not the final version. This is only a 3D printed prototype to like showcase people how this works and also to like to test like if this uh, system actually like face each other and uh, I actually have on the screen a much like new year version of the system and uh, as you can see there have been a lot of more cutouts on different parts of the system for maximum like weight saving while like maintaining the structural like strength. So yeah we went through a lot of like revisions uh, with the design and uh, with of that but uh, yeah the final product looks great and uh, we are really looking forward to fly it on our this year's rocket. I wonder if it have enough Talk. Yeah, what we can do is now is to swap the servers. Swap the servers? Can I to grab dinner first and then come back? Seems okay. to rotate. Yeah, you know what we do next? We... Uh, no! I bet you this server's not fried, it's so unlikely. Just, just plug fried. it back in, just plug it back in, maybe replug, it'll just work. You think so? I bet. You think so? Mm, it's not fried. It's not fried, but it's also not powered. I don't think it's connected though. Turn it back on. I think it's not connected through the shaft. Did, no. you, did you screw it into the shaft or anything? I did not. I think I have skill issues over here. I did not. I really did not. Oh, yo, 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 don't show that. Don't show that. Don't show that. I'll get an M3 screw and fix that right now. Yo, 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 yo. shut up, shut up. You are not seeing anything happening here, buddy. You, you saw nothing. Hmm. 
I wonder what type of saw I'm using. Aha, uh -huh, it will work. Two thousand years later. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Which is fastest screwing? Yeah, fastest right hand of the rest. I'm, uh, I'm inserting some shafts into this uh, system. I do have the negative, I do have the positive, and I do have the same. No, 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 get rid of the Yo! Wow. We can make it run even more. Very nice. So Richard, explain how this works. So I watched some Teletubby and uh, this works now. <laughs> Very cool. Good job, Richard. It only took half an hour. <laughs> Five minutes. Yeah, and one last thing is uh, there have been a lot of really capable, really like smart people on the controls team that have been like designing all aspects of the airbricks. Like what you see here is only like the mechanical side. It's not even like fully complete. But behind the scenes, there's all the controllers, state estimation, um, trajectory prediction, uh, and uh, even like the power needs someone to like specifically like design for the charging board. So yeah, uh, I think uh, I should just like shout out to the whole like controls team for their like valuable like contributions. I'd like to like thank all of you guys uh, for putting this project together and made it possible like for our for the first year that controls exist. Hmm, super, that was excellent. Um...